the search for Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. Tonight, there is a real race against time because of that pinging coming from the black box. They believe they have about a week before the batteries run out. Authorities tonight fine-tuning the search area, looking for debris now in that yellow area right there. They are also rushing this out to sea, a device that listens for the pings from those black boxes before they fall silent in a week. ABC's David Wright tonight on board a giant Australian ship heading out to the search zone with that equipment on board. David. Good evening, David. From the bridge of the Ocean Shield, as dawn breaks here in Australia, this vessel is getting set to ship out, carrying on board a piece of American technology that many hope will help solve the mystery. The eyes in the sky have not yet conclusively found any debris from Flight 370. Ten planes searching an area the size of New Mexico Sunday. Several of them spotted objects in the water, but surface vessels have yet to confirm those objects came from the missing plane. But already, the next phase of this search is about to set sail. It'll take three or four days for the Ocean Shield to get into position. They'll be towing that U.S. Navy pinger locator, listening for the beacon from those black boxes. How big a noise does this thing make? Uh, well, you can you can see the size, so it's uh, relatively small. If you were to put it in the water, you wouldn't be able to hear it with your ear. Even with this high-tech gear, they'll have to be less than a mile away to hear it, effectively right on top of it. Phase two would then be to, to take that autonomous underwater vehicle we have. A submersible setting, robot. A submers basically, and, and having it uh, use its sonar to, to map out the debris field. The robot able to function up to 20,000 feet below the surface. Oh, yeah. In Kuala Lumpur today, families of the Chinese passengers demanded Malaysian officials apologize for botching the search. As of today, the Malaysians won't be calling all the shots. A respected former chairman of the Australian Joint Chiefs is now in command. Time is of the essence now, because the batteries on those black boxes have only days left on them. David Wright, ABC News, aboard the Ocean Shield.